Hi folks, my vacation is over. Yes, it's sad, but it's life. We need to get back on track and we going back. This time I'm going not directly to Lviv, but in Kamenske in Nipro region because I was planning to visit my mom on the International Women's Day. And this vlog will be about women's compartment. Women's wagons are not different from unisex wagons in comfort or services, but the mission is to bring mental comfort for women, girls and trans women. Not every train has such wagon, only sleeping distant trains with the road that exceed 12 hours. I have already done plenty of videos that observed second class ride to the Dnipro region and back to Lviv, and also I was lucky to be a passenger of first class wagon that was bought by my husband because he was afraid about my security but thankfully to my wallet and thankfully for all women who want to have a safe trip Ukrazeliznitsa did a pilot project in summer of 2023 and launched wagons only for women can you imagine well, improvements are slowly progressing on the railway. For example, the locomotive that was used for this particular train to move the wagons was working on coal. Unexpected. Now every woman with kids can buy these tickets in application of Ukrzeleznica, even if woman has a male kid under age of 6. The ticket to women compartment can be bought only from mobile application of Ukrzeliznica. It was done for a purpose. Some women are too shy to ask for only women's carriage near the cashier place at the station, because they are afraid of people being judgmental. But if you are buying right from your house, you can select date and seat without any rush, it's much more comfortable for you. Yet the tickets need to be bought in advance due to the high demand. I'm checking now next week and see that almost all seats have been sold out. So, pilot launch was more than successful. Around 83% of women were satisfied and wrote good reviews in the application. So, Ukrzeliznica decided to widespread such wagons all over the trains, and I think it's suitable. So, let's check what services you can get for $27 second class women wagon. They give you towel and bed sheets. The sockets are working in compartment. They also attach the stickers with the poetry of famous Ukrainian poetess Alessa Ukrainka. Son litnie nochi kolis mani snivsia, korotka ta litnie nichka bola, i son bov korotki vin hutnko zminivsia i znik jak na schodi zaria rastvila. Cool. They are also providing new mattresses and new pillows. This is amazing me in the second class, guys. The best service, because I still remember my childhood when we were sleeping on the stones. But now I see improvement. Compartment is more or less clean. You have a blackout curtains, air conditioner in the summer. Yet let's get back to the question why women wagon were a necessity for Ukraine. Ukraine, as you know, is post-Soviet country, still have some patriarchal feature. For now, of course, society is changing, but when I was a little girl in 90s or early 2000s, society were still sure that sexual abuse or harassment was not the case until it became a rape. And imagine that you are a woman that are traveling at night locked in the compartment with three drunk fellows that are willing to slur joke with you. I would not sleep at night at all. Funny fact, guys, that one time Korzelinsnitsa wanted to cancel this Max as very old one, but most of the users of the services of Ukrainian railways denied this proposal because, first, it damages environment because of plastic, and second of all, these mugs are memories from our childhood when we use and we all remember. Despite of good reviews, some people decided to criticize Ukrzeliznitsa for giving privilege to one gender from the another gender and criticize women who buy such tickets. I was also criticized online. In Japan, women-only carriages are existing for a long time and it's normal for them. But an Australian vlogger went viral after posting a video of himself entering a women-only carriage in Japan. He referred to the train as segregated. But Japanese viewers called back, saying the system exists not to segregate but to protect women from assault. Guys, in every country and in every state and town there are 
normal people, normal men and women, and there are weird people. And these weird people can possibly violate your boundaries. Don't get me twisted, I deeply respect Ukrainian men, and not only Ukrainian. I have met a plenty of men all over the world who were volunteering, or who were volunteering in army even, fighting for Ukrainian independence. My big appreciation and respect for them. And I'm sure that people who are criticizing segregated carriages have daughters or sisters, and they will be happy if their loved ones had pleasant and safe trip, because some of the trips can be fatal. A lot of women reported to police about sexual harassment in the trains when drunk men were assaulting them. It was like mental assault, it was physical assault, and even some cases of sexual rape. In distant 2021, Ukrainian journalist Anastasia Luhova was traveling to Kyiv by train with her 7-year-old son. At 3 a.m., according to the woman, an unknown man in his underwear burst into her compartment. She woke up from blows on her head. Man blocked the door and started beating her. He pressed her head to the bed. He held her by the throat and beat her many times. Anastasia understood that she needed to be brave for her son and tricked this man by asking him to go to his compartment, not to do everything in front of her son's eyes. Once she reached the corridor, she began to run and scream for help. The stranger that attacked her was arrested three times in the past before incident happened. According to the friends of the victim, Anastasia wanted a fair punishment for the attacker, so she wanted to give a case maximum publicity. Of course, rape could also happen from the side of woman to another man. We cannot exclude these cases. However, 90% of reports were related to men assaulting women. I'm sorry guys, but it's true. Even famous Ukrainian singer Alina Pash confessed she also faced with assault and inappropriate comments about her appearance in trains when she was 19. And also me, myself and I had an incident. I was traveling to the south of Ukraine. I was 20, I was young, and I was traveling third class. Thankfully, there are a lot of people there to defend me. And some of the guys were drinking beer and after vodka and after they did a weird compliment to my appearance and after one of them were asking me, do you want to have a sex with me? Okay, I'm so handsome and you too, do you want to have a sex? And it was extremely inappropriate. Of course, my case is really low-key, and I will be fine with mental assault and inappropriate comments, but now I'm grateful that Ukur Zaliznitsa gave me a chance to avoid it. But for me, it works in both ways. If men will push in for arranging men-only carriages, it is okay, and I will support this. Guys, while I was absent, they launched new electric train from Kaminskia to Dnipro and named it Dnipro City. Nice! It's nothing wrong about demanding comfortable conditions for you and services you have paid for. Please tell me in the comment section to this video if you agree with me or maybe in your country such cases are absent or rare. I also want to apologize to any man triggered by this video. It wasn't my intention to offend anyone. All the information I've told here based on the evidences and statistics and my intention was to help women to travel solo safely. So guys, it was my small tiny trip in a women wagon and I hope you enjoyed and understood why Ukraine actually needed and why I'm buying tickets to women compartment not for segregation but for safety. I know guys that this lightning is super weird but this is all I have in my mom house. I have no special gear here but all I have is my heart. And from the bottom of this heart, I want to say thank you for watching this video till the end. And please write a comment to this video to help YouTube algorithm recognize us, because we are here and we are existing. And if your heart is, you can proceed to the description of this video and find my buy me a coffee link to support Jane as a content creator. I appreciate you very much. And all my buy me a coffee guys are receiving some special tiny vlogs from my personal life. So join us. And of course now Marcus and Sam want to say hello to you.